You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And this is episode 32. And, uh... See, I'm not even on count. Thankfully, you keep track of that. Well, yeah. Well, it's easy because we only add one. So... Once a week? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. crazy. So I just I just write that in the top of the notes and we're good. There you go. Anyway. Someone's on top of something. Yeah. So we had the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view on Sunday. Uh-huh. Um, so, what, three... Three matches are worth talking about? Mm, I mean... Not even? One of them we could probably wait until SmackDown? I mean, technically four could be talked about, because one was... I mean, there was, what, three title changes? No, two title changes. Yeah, well, uh, and then the a two title... Two t- title changes and elimination chambers yeah. matches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Those were the most important. I, I, don't, I don't know if, if the IC title match is really worth talking about. No, not really. Yeah. I mean, Finn's the IC champion. That's yeah. it. <laughs> well, and, and and really talking about what happened on Raw fits like together. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like it's not like an isolated thing. Well, I guess we could do that. Just kind of talk about things and how they transpired throughout the week. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, you want to start? No, I just figured we'll open with the two I- the elimination chamber matches. That's probably the best place to. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyway, mm-hmm. so. The elimination chamber pay per view started with the women's elimination chamber mm-hmm. tag. Started off, it was a little sloppy. A little bit. Um, I think they well, struggled to find pace. The uh, apparently the rumor was that the show was originally supposed to main event, mm-hmm. and then it got swapped. So yeah. the women were kind of caught off guard. They thought they had more time to prep. Uh, but I mean, that'll do it. You got to think. I'm sure they. I wonder if they worked live events on Saturday or because I. I know there was points in time where they Smackdown kept them. Smackdown did. Yeah. I don't know if Raw did. Mm. I know where there was a point in time where they kept either the women off of the um, live events for, like, big matches or something like that. I don't remember which it was, but well, I know they did do it. I know Charlotte faced Asuka mm-hmm. on Saturday night, but that could have that very did. easily been the only match that they had. It's so possible. that wouldn't have affected anybody. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, but no, that as far as the match overall, I thought it was. It, yeah, it was, it was really good. good. Yeah, yeah. Um, a couple of good spots. Yeah, Nia running through the glass. She did, Great. and she wasn't even aiming at Bailey. That was my <laughs> she favorite. She just went straight through. Yeah. Well, they, you know, that's when sometimes camera angles are great, and sometimes camera angles yeah. uh, kill your whole spot. Yeah, it's true. But and the best part is that, that was one of those like I guess staged replay moments. Mm. So they literally just showed Bailey not anywhere in Near her path. Yeah. So that was pretty pretty funny. Yep. Um, Iconics actually got an elimination. Yes, I like that spot. That was yeah. good. They uh, the revival did that same spot on they, Monday night. They did the same thing. It looked good both times. It's true, but I I just I don't understand why the revival have to steal all their stuff from everybody. <laughs> um, no, the I mean, for the Iconics played their role perfectly oh, yeah. in the match. Mm-hmm. Went back and hid in the pod when, yeah, when nyan tamina came out right yeah when they first came out they tried pinning everybody who's mm-hmm. in the match so yeah. it was good no yeah, yeah, yeah um sasha and bailey obviously came out on top the there right, you go. the right winners um i actually thought there was a chance that maybe sonia and uh mandy would get it yeah and there's an interesting stat too that becky was the first smackdown women's mm-hmm. champion charlotte was the first raw women's champion now bailey and sasha were the first women tag team champions it's true so it makes sense yeah no absolutely they uh they're playing to their strengths Mm -hmm. so it's good um and on raw they came out and they announced that those tag titles because no one knew exactly what it was going to be they were going to be open to challenges from raw smackdown and nxt yep and 205 live i'm kidding (laughs) i'm joking i'm well um but that's pretty cool yeah no, no no that's that's good it's i mean the only thing that you know with the nxt is that it's taped so far in advance so you really think they're gonna have title defenses on nxt they'll have them at takeovers yeah i guess that's true that'd be cool that's a good point well let's let's say for argument's sake um whatever the pay-per-view is after uh, wrestlemania backlash mm-hmm. i think it might be that's probably the first one yeah. or whatever it is um actually no there's no there's only takeovers for the big pay-per-views. Yeah. They do one before... They do a June one, don't they? Money yeah, they, in the Bank? They do one before Money in the Bank. Right. Okay. Money in the Bank, we have the two Money in the Bank matches, a bunch of other important matches. Mm-hmm. So why not just have them defended at a takeover? It's true. It would be a way to get them showcased. You get more people probably to check out the takeover card mm-hmm. if it's they're true. 
big fans. You know, as yeah. long as it's done properly to hype up, that yeah. way you get NXT stars more That's the biggest thing. exposure. And, you know, Do that's... You, who, who would argue about having... Like Io Shirai and Kairi Sane. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what yeah, I was going to say. That's what everybody wants to see. Yeah, so. have them against Sasha and yeah. Bailey. Oh, and another little thing that they did on Sunday is that all the women uh, matched their outfits, so they kind of gave that impression that they were teams oh you mean when they met on in the, in each the, team yeah yeah, yeah yeah carmella and naomi had a mm-hmm. had a theme going on bailey yep. and sasha they've always they've done that for a while now mm-hmm. uh mandy and sonia were in the kinda aew kinda colors yeah <laughs> and uh oh my god when jim when the usos came out and they were in black white and gold i was like christine they're in aew colors it's coming. <laughs> um uh, iconics were wearing pretty much the same thing right? yeah yeah and then Naya and Tamina. Were I think yeah, Peyton there. might have had a little different attire on. But, but like, yeah, yeah, it like the color scheme. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a fun match. Yeah, no, it they stuff. built up to a decent ending. They they definitely made it more interesting toward the end, mm-hmm. which is well, the big finish. That's when you're supposed it's to true. get invested into it's it. True. So, um, and then we're moving on to what could have potentially been the most exciting moments of wwe tv in a quite some time i guess that's true i literally had they done it there's literally nothing that could have topped it within the last like three years i think dean cashing in money in bank would have been the last time that that much that excitement pretty, happened yeah because that that might have floundered when they after they did it mm-hmm. but when that happened that was such a big moment yeah um but we're obviously talking about the wwe championship elimination chamber match Oh yeah, um, with Daniel Bryan, um, why can't I remember? Jeff Hardy? There we go. We've seen all I these know, guys in matches would, for the last week. Jeff Hardy, a couple of weeks. Jeff Hardy, um, Ra- whoa, <laughs> Randy Orton. I'm tired. Randy Orton, um, Samoa Joe, uh, AJ Styles. He was the champion recently. He was. Um, and who who am I missing? Kofi? Kofi Kingston. Oh, duh. <laughs> I, I meant to do him last. I wanted to make sure I had all the other ones. Anyway, oh, so boy, this match started surprisingly with Samoa Joe and Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. And Samoa Joe just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he, he's got to look good in pieces. And then, you know, eventually he went his way. He was the first one eliminated, yeah, just like we expected. Yeah. And that was that. So, um... Randy Orton was the last one in as he went on mm-hmm. SmackDown. Surprisingly, not one of the final two. No. I figured he might be. But I think they did a very good job of telling the story. Um, it ended up being Kofi and Daniel Bryan. Um, it. Yeah, no, I was at you know the edge of my seat. The whole was... time, I'm like, because it makes so little sense for having Kofi to be in this match to mm-hmm. begin with, like, it, it just would be perfect if they pulled the trigger and... Because and this is what we talked about in our predictions. I don't see where they're going. There's nothing there. There's no logical opponent for Danny Bryan or Russell. Well, well, Besides was, Kofi. Yeah, I know. But there is a rumor on who is going to face Daniel who? Bryan. Who? Returning star. Returning star. Yeah. Um, from SmackDown? Mm, no. A returning star from Raw. Um the hell's out who have they been doing videos for oh that'd be cool kevin yeah. owens yeah i like that that's good no well because he said that he'll be back like right before wrestlemania mm-hmm. so that'd be interesting yeah. i'd like that idea but i mean that's the rumor now you know as we heard that a- and he's he's probably come back as a face because he left as a yeah, face. Yeah, yeah yeah and they kind of been making him seem like one yeah kind of i mean yeah you probably wouldn't have a really a heel doing things like he's been doing yeah. coming back spending time with his family it's true um so i like that idea yeah okay, i mean that. that's i think rumored right now i mean, i i would like crazy to see old kofi, man could change his mind last second i would like to see kofi win it at fast lane and then lose it again at wrestlemania that'd be okay in like a multi-man match yeah um that'd be fine when was the last time we got a big wrestlemania moment wrestlemania moment yeah um Probably Daniel Bryan in 2014. Yeah. Because I know a lot of stuff... Because it just they, doesn't seem like things are geared for those yeah. anymore. Because there was a lot of times where they wanted things to pan out. Mm-hmm. 
like Roman beating Triple H and oh boy. Um, All right, so oh well, no, no, Seth cashing in. Yeah, I guess that, that was the first time it had ever been done at WrestleMania. So yeah. that, that was probably the that was last a big moment. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't like the underdog story or anything mm-hmm. like that. Then it would probably be yeah Daniel Bryan. Yeah, but um, all right. So since we're on this topic now, Kofi replaced Mustafa Ali mm-hmm. a few weeks back. Um, probably wouldn't have gotten the same reaction. Uh, no, because people wouldn't, wouldn't have been as familiar with him. Yeah, the but fact- I think this would have gotten him on the the map. Yes, yes. I think Tuesday would have helped him, and Sunday would have mm-hmm. you know really made a big impression. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't have the- had the entire stadium chanting for mm-hmm. for him to mm-hmm. win like yep. they were with Kofi. But this is this he was the right person to go with mm-hmm. as an alternate, and no reason they shouldn't pull the trigger. Um, w we've complained about this before and i do it with other wrestling promotions as well and it's all about taking chances that's true and it seems like everybody plays it too safe now i it's just and it's not you're not even really taking a chance you're not because you have the most over trio yeah on on your pro in your product but undisputed era kind of there but they are in an apples and oranges kind of yeah um but it's just why not? And just have them joke around and actually pretend like or make it like attempt to do the free bro rule with the title. I mean, that would be awesome. I, I think that's pushing it a little bit. So a, a cool, little bit though. with the WWE Championship. If it was like the US or I the guess. IC, I, I I could see it I, I guess so. being. But um, that would be cool. It would. Um, it would. And I guess since we're on the top, we, we already said that Daniel Bryan won, right? Yeah. Um, oh, we didn't, but, but I think it was implied. It was obvious, yeah. Um, on SmackDown last night, we had a six-man tag, the faces from the chamber versus the heels from the chamber. I hate when they do that. Kofi ended up pinning Daniel Bryan. Oh, okay. And Shane McMahon came out and said, you know, Kofi will be facing Daniel Bryan for the championship at Fastlane. It's good. The crowd went wild, mm-hmm. as usual. Yeah. So. I... Oh, they did a really cool spot on SmackDown, too. Ah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Before that match took place... They were doing the, uh, I guess, the pre-match interview with uh, the New Day in Gorilla. Uh-huh. And we got to see Big E do the whole, um, where he calls out the town and he does oh, okay. the thing. It, it was just like a cool look because we always just you see, see it from yeah. the the ring. But this time we actually saw it from Gorilla. So it was just a nice little yeah. touch they did. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess that's, I mean... Shane McMahon and The Miz dropped the titles to the Usos. Mm-hmm. Um, that was about the only other excitement besides yeah. Finn winning the uh, championship. Oh, yeah. and uh, Becky Lynch coming out and beating the crap out of Charlotte and Ronda, Ronda with a crutch and mm-hmm. busting Ronda open. Yep. She oh, was yeah. tested for a concussion, but obviously she was good to go because she was mon- on Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah, she uh, she did a number on Ronda. Oh, that's yeah. For sure. She did not. Unprotected headshots. Well, I think it wasn't necessarily intentional oh no no but, but still yeah anyway squirming um, around too much i think that probably was no, what that's it what it was, was. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah there was there was no way that she's that like, was shit i gotta grab a crutch otherwise she's gonna kill me yeah so um but the big story for raw and smackdown was uh nxt superstars being mm-hmm. showcased we saw johnny gargano tomaso champa uh alistair black and rick o'shea yes Triple H opened Raw, announcing that they were going to be, I guess, appearing? Yeah. Well, it was funny, because earlier in the day, there was a bunch of news reports that came out that said these NXT superstars were backstage. Which means literally nothing. because. And they- then WWE posted that they were backstage. Yeah. So then you're like, oh, okay. And then, like you said, Triple H came out and said yeah. they were going to be in action. Mm. Um, so I was thinking, like, why are they doing call-ups right before WrestleMania? They're not doing call-ups. They're no. not getting called up. But we've talked about this before. This is the way you need to introduce your NXT talent. Yeah. Just have them on a random show. Just get and, the crowd familiar with them. And you put them in matches with people that they know. Yeah. Because the, the whole, and they did it multiple times, mm-hmm. bringing up a, a superstar, pairing them with Dolph, and then no yep. one really cares. Yep. You know, it was funny, um, on SmackDown, we saw Andrade versus Aleister Black, mm-hmm. and I was like, 
Remember, I was talking to Christine, I was like, remember when Andrade was the NXT Dolph Ziggler and everybody would come in and just beat him? Yeah. And then it actually worked out for him in it's, the long it's run. It's true. So, it, interesting tidbit. Do you know who he is currently dating? Almas? Yes. Um, I'm assuming You're not going to guess. It's it, there are they in the WWE? They are. Um Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Charlotte. Seriously? That's what the rumor was Man today. doesn't speak English. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I guess, but you know, you think things that can be, be conveyed in that, other that'd ways. Be some kind of barrier, I would think, because it's not like because I'm, oh, I'm pretty sure boy. he doesn't actually speak English. It's not that he, right? I don't know. I thought it was. I thought he actually didn't speak English, and that was the reason they put him with Zelina. Yeah, I thought that was the whole thing. Which was funny because that is Alistair Black's wife, and she was out with Andrade, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, this is interesting turn of events here. Yeah, I guess, but at the same time, it's not like. Like the, it's like a, it's a work. Yeah. So. Oh my, yeah, obviously. All right, so we start off raw like you said with this whole NXT thing, and I'm all hyped. I'm like, all right, this is awesome. And then we get Braun versus Corbin in a table smash. It's I'm true. Like, Just saw the shit last night. Uh huh. Granted, this time Corbin was the one going through a table, rather and he than was Braun. by himself. He this was. Time. He had no friends. No friends. No friends. <laughs> no friends. Um. Then we saw. Finn Balor and Ricochet team up against Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley. Yep. Um, crowd was pretty bad Monday night. Yeah. They were yeah. very quiet, yeah. uh, which thankfully on Tuesday, they were much more receptive to the NXT stars. It seemed like these were people that were actually familiar with the product. And I they guess weren't so. Like, well, I mean, it seemed like Monday was a crowd that never seen wrestling before, and they were like, here's some tickets. That's Go possible. Inside. Wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently, both shows apparently had huge uh, parts of the arena blocked off, yeah. which, um, you know, it, it's funny because Raw did uh, their best ratings since, I think, the, uh, it might have been the best Raw of 2019 so it's far. possible. Um, I know it was higher than the post-Royal Rumble show, but maybe the Go Home show was higher. Huh. Um, but anyway, it, it's been a constant problem with the attendance being low on both raw mostly smackdown though Mm -hmm. i I mean i guess it's probably just the oversaturation of it you know it's not a big thing like we've said when wwe comes to town i mean they do it quite often i feel like it it could be that it could just be the fact that you know it's kind of expensive to go out to stuff and i was thinking about this the other day Mm -hmm. it's just honestly it's nice that the fact that they do that when you think about it that they're so available no but that when they have low attendance, mm-hmm. they restructure. Oh, yeah, so you don't notice it on TV. Had people Be- not... Yeah, because no. if you go to a baseball game and you buy the $10 tickets mm-hmm. for, like, the nosebleeds, right. if they only sold half the tickets, they're not moving you. Mm-mm. You're still that's sitting true. at those $10. <laughs> that's you know what true. I mean? So that's that's kind of a positive. Yeah. So they could be thinking that it's, it's like a win-win where... They're helping the people that pay for the tickets, yeah. giving them better seats, and they're also helping themselves being a better perception. Yeah, that's fair. So it's an interesting way to look at it. I yeah, think about that. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's funny because the first time I thought about it was the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, because there's plenty of baseball games where you're watching it, and there's no, no one, one in the there. crowd. Yeah. So, and you're like, okay, it's and an but, old Montreal Expos game. Yeah. <laughs> or or how the the Rays aren't now. Mm. So. So I, I, it's it's a win win I I think and if people like to look at it in a positive light I mean a negative light yeah but that's just what people do with everything now. well I mean, it's all, everything's based on perception yeah but it's always negative that's the that's the problem I guess yeah that's yeah. that's true because which is funny you know I'm, it, it seems like there has like I I enjoyed both Raw and SmackDown and you know I I think the way I've been looking at the product now is that like we've said that not everything is going to be geared towards your personal preference and things like that mm-hmm. is a show where they cater to a large audience mm-hmm. so if there's something i don't like i just go on my phone i just True. ignore it and yeah they uh tune out and it's just like all right now i can tune back in there's somebody i like they did a good job of trying to bring some excitement into at least raw mm-hmm. i don't i can't speak for smackdown but i from what you said that i enjoyed it it's the same because bringing in fresh faces and making it so that new matchups that and the fact that 
Well, it's funny because a lot of those were rematches. <clears throat> well, DIY versus a revival. Well, yeah. Alistair yeah. Black versus um Andrade. versus Andrade. Yeah. Um. So, but like it's it's nice because you're having matches for no reason. Like I said, they're just matches for the sake of matches. Yeah. And they'll lead to something eventually, but they don't need to start that way. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. I'm I'm fine with agreeing with you for okay. now, but in other circumstances, I don't agree. Okay. With matches just for matches. Um. Because so, it, it, I I remember you said it was about the competitive nature, but then if wins and losses don't count, then the competitive nature is really yeah. But that's not supposed to be something that is known. I guess. That, that There's win, been plenty of people. That, that wins and losses thing is not something that the WWE are, says. Yeah. I, I could have sworn no. they've... Eh. No, way. no way. Guaranteed All right. no. All right. That's something that Ryback said on one of his stupid podcasts and said that... Because he wanted more money despite how you were booked. Yeah. He, he said that everyone should get be, be paid equal. And that's where this whole wins and losses thing kind of came out. I never listened to his podcast. Well, I, I, it was around the time when he was, you know, he had just left or was okay. about to leave, and he was spouting nonsense about, like, everything that he didn't like about the company. Mm -hmm. and blah. Yeah. He felt he deserved more money even though he was lower on the car. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So. But I don't even, it's just the way the story building is that wins and losses really don't matter. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, I, I'm not saying that the... The company's perception isn't mm. that because clearly it is. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's well, except unless you're Kurt Hawkins, then losses well, do matter. That's they different honestly... because technically speaking, the more he loses, the more over he is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But it, in terms of because they think that that's the best way to keep people looking strong. That's it. Yeah. Because if you don't lose all the time or you don't win all the time. Or if everybody doesn't win all the blah, 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 um, then you, you look, you can't look bad. I guess that's true. It prevents people from looking super good. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's and that's been a big problem they've yeah. had. They haven't had any real superstars, mm -hmm. but that's because they that's insist on 50 people 50 losing. They're 50-50 booking and stuff like that, mm -hmm. yeah. So Well, it's like Corbin going on a losing streak, and then he goes on a winning streak, and then you're like, all right. Yeah, Corbin's not, <laughs> not doing much for anybody. No. So he is not. They have not found a role that seems to fit him. Uh, well, the role, does. the role he's <laughs> the role he's in now is fine. It's just he's been feuding with Corbin uh, with Braun too long. Yeah, and the fact that he's teaming up with other heels kind mm. of deflates him a little bit. Yeah, I guess so. But he's not meant to be that strong heel. He's meant to be that weak, cowardly heel. I guess. I guess I don't know. Uh, an interesting video I saw was uh, you know how Corbin does that run and slide out of the ring and back in. I saw videos of the big boss man doing it back in really? the day. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And I was like, huh? I never knew that. And I was yeah. like, damn. Because it, it, he can it, move. Yeah, it's one of the interesting things that he does. Right, right. And I thought it was like, oh, why did never, nobody ever do that before? And then I saw the video and I was like, huh? Boss man. There he is. Um. Let's see. Yeah, like I said, Lucha House Party beat Hawkins and Ryder. Very, yeah. uh, no, nah, little nonsense. There. Well, obviously, they're not going to have Ryder win, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Hawkins win. It's so. true. Like you said, we had the rematch of the Revival versus DIY. Mm -hmm. um, DIY went over. Obviously, you were going to showcase your new talent, your it's new true. shiny toys. This was a granted, confusing choice. Granted, you have the tag team champions that just won the titles, yeah. what, last week? So, yeah, like, and it was a clean victory. It wasn't like a. And he had well, two heel who, teams going up against each other. I was going to say, who was the other. face in this situation? Well, that, that, was, that was the problem. I think the the Revival were probably closer to the faces. Yeah. And they didn't do anything. Well, neither team really cheated. Yeah, but. and when we get to SmackDown, I I got so many things to say about DIY versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Um, but Yeah, why did they do that? They could have picked any other team. We'll, we'll get When we get to it, or we can just do it right now. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll, con we'll keep on going. All right. We're almost done with Raw. Yeah, yeah. Ciampa picks up the victory. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you do have your North American and your uh, NXT champion. Oh, that's that's what... The the problem wasn't that they went over. It was the team in which they went, went over, over on. Yeah. Because had, had this... Had they won against even Rude and Gable. No, they should have had this happen before they won the titles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they, if they sense. did that if they won the titles next week yeah or if they had done this two weeks ago um it would have been would have made more sense basically yeah but whatever mm -hmm. 
Um, we talked about Sasha and Bailey coming out. Yep. Uh, and Nia and Tamina came out, and they said that they were going to challenge them. And, and then, it went nowhere. Yeah, that was weird. That's uh, special. Yeah. Uh, Drew killed Dean. Yeah, that was weird. Real quick. Yeah. Two Claymores. That was it. Uh-huh. I didn't really And this match that. was made earlier on because Drew had originally wanted Seth, and then mm-hmm. Dean came up and slapped Drew in the face. And yeah. then uh, and Triple H was like, you still want Seth, or uh, you want me to change that match? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And then afterwards, <laughs> Seth is being interviewed, and he says he plans on leaving WrestleMania as the Universal Champion. Then Dean like walks over making some weird noises, and Seth's like, can I help you? He's like, where were you, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that was pretty that. funny oh it was it was great it was good yeah yeah no it, it was good and he's, um, he's like i could have used your help out there he's probably like he's, he's that guy that put in his notice and he just doesn't give a shit about I, I work, guess so, so. He well he went off script last week so yeah. i guess and then well. Seth's like have you lost your mind <laughs> he's like eh and then he walked away I'm like all right that's fine you yeah know? that's fine um then we got elias versus alistair black mm-hmm. um Apparently, there was some sort of controversy behind the scenes with this match. I mean, Meltzer reported, so who knows? Just because of the simple fact that Elias is this big guy, he's, you know, and Alistair's half his size. So What? Ha- yeah, it was it was really that's, stupid. That's not true. I, I know. <laughs> I know. It, it was dumb, <laughs> but Alistair wins the black mask. I'm sorry, but mask. what about when everyone wanted Finn Balor to beat Brock Lesnar, yeah. and Finn Balor should have beaten? Well, this Brock was some Lesnar. someone backstage that apparently said it. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, or sorry, the Moody Alistair Black. That's yeah, what why Michael did called. they say that? And then Alistair posts on Instagram like a joke of like it said the Moody Blacks, and it was a bunch of his face on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it was referencing to in that <laughs> aspect, but yeah, no, it was hilarious. I was like. Man, Michael what Cole ruins everything. <laughs> the ruiner. Yeah. Uh, uh, then we got a rematch from Sunday, Elimination Chamber, Ruby versus Ronda, I which this should have been the match. It should have been. So Meltzer apparently said, which you know, not taking his word as gospel, but there was a reason for this. Apparently, she was apparently supposed to face Alexa Bliss and squash her, um, Ronda. That is on. Uh, at elimination chamber? No, 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 on on Monday. Oh, that was supposed to be the match for some reason, but they did a rematch. So it was supposed to be because they need to fill time, so they want the, this match, but and they were going to make it a more. So they wanted match. Ronda to squash Ruby. No, want Ronda to squash Bliss. No, they oh. wanted Ronda to squash Ruby at elimination mm-hmm. chamber, and then the next night squash Bliss. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Yeah. Whatever. I guess it really doesn't matter. It does. She's not going to lose the title until no, WrestleMania. Anyway. No, I still think they should have had her drop the belt on Sunday and then win it back Monday just to screw with everybody. I guess. I just don't. They wouldn't do that. No, with, I know uh, they wouldn't. Or you could have. Honestly, you could have had Becky cost her the match or something like yeah, that. That's fine. And Ronda be like, no, I want her back in this match or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. You know, you could have played that, it. That could happen. That could happen in fast lane. That's true. Yeah, because she could still win it back. Yeah. On a Raw or whatever. That would help the ratings, yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, but that was Raw. Yeah, I couldn't nutshell. believe they made that the main event. It was it was good. Yeah, they except really, for that dive off the top rope that Ronda took. Yeah, that, that was, was weird. Scary. Yeah, she shouldn't do that. But, uh, but yeah, Ruby looked much better. <laughs> they basically booked Sunday's match as a squash. Like, they why did. would you have that at a pay-per-view? What they did. It does no good for anybody. I mean, granted, the whole reason for that match was to set up for the... Becky, Charlotte, Mm -hmm. Ronda segment. Yeah. But it's funny because they made it seem like because the Riot Squad was outside. Yeah, that that it was so much different. Yeah, Yeah. even though they didn't really do much. No, they got involved a little bit. But still. Yeah, I guess There's a difference between getting involved and, you know, doing Mm -hmm. what they do. Yeah. Because very rarely do they do anything of real consequence. Generally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So back on, now on to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Um, Shane and Miz get their rematch. Woo! Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. We, we, we knew how this it's, was going yeah, from the beginning. Yeah. They're going to lose at fast lane. They're going to fight because this time... Or it's gonna be, his dad's going to be in, in the front row for this. <laughs> Mr. Miz, right? Is that what they call him? So, and it's going to be the Miz's fault again? I would assume so. Right? Yeah, Shane's going to be the, the dick. Yeah. He's going to be the heel. So... 
And then they're going to have a match at WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and that's going to make me cry. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. You and every other person. It's, tr it's, just such, it's such a waste of the Miz. It really is. Because this year was the year, and I know I talk about this all the time. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> This is the year where you could have had Daniel Bryan versus The Miz for the WWE. Still do F Daniel Bryan is the heel and Miz is the face. No, that's too. what I wanted yeah, him yeah. to do from the beginning. Yeah. I didn't want The Miz to be a heel going into right. the match. I even said it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I even said it going into <laughs> the... Uh, this is way before. Uh, yeah, you know, I remember. This was, was probably for Survivor Series. It was this, like Hell in a Cell, right? It was before Daniel Bryan had the championship. It was before the Super Show when they had the number one contender yes. match. Yes, yeah. I said, I want them yeah. to turn Daniel Bryan heel, mm -hmm. and I want the Miz to face Daniel Bryan as a face for the WWE Championship mm -hmm. at the WrestleMania. Yep. At All the, the WrestleMania. At the WrestleMania. <laughs> All the pieces are in place except for the fact that that stupid, sweaty old man... <laughs> <laughs> just needs to have a match at WrestleMania. Oh, he's got to put himself over, man. man That's just so the McMahon bad. way. So bad. Some things you just have to accept. I guess. Yes. Uh, whatever. All right, so Aleister Black faced Andrade. Like we stated earlier, or I stated, he went over with Black Mass yep. again, so he wins. All right, so we have The Bar versus DIY. Uh-huh. Two heel teams as well. Yes, two definitive heel teams. Yes, which... I the way they had a little backstage interaction, it, it you know, obviously uh, the bar was making fun of Ciampa and Gargano's mm -hmm. size because they're obviously much smaller. Oh, really? And that played a huge role in this match. Uh -huh. And it was just like, I, I honestly have a fear that either of these men or both are going to end up in 205 no. Live. Mm -mm. I No, I, I realize that, but just by the way the match felt, mm -hmm. um, there was a very scary spot where... Ciampa went to do a uh, sunset flip powerbomb out of the corner, mm. and Sheamus came right down onto Ciampa's good knee. Oh. Like, his whole leg buckled. Ref threw up the X sign, but he seemed to, all right to finish the match. But it, it just... It felt like she Sheamus and Cesaro had a tough time working against such smaller comp opponents. Mm. It, it was just... It was weird. Um, not the match that I would have booked, so to speak. No, you could have had him up against the Put club. Put him up against the club. Or, or yeah, Carl Anderson. Sanity. Well, we did. No, nah, yeah, I have. guess he could have. Why yeah, not? yeah. That's we true. could have had Dane and. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was just. Wolf. Maybe that's not how it came across to other people. That's just how I, I felt. No, that's it, fair. Um, it was. They, at this point, though, they're way too popular. Oh, I agree. But that's how you could. Inter yeah, you know. It's true. But that's why Rey Mysterio is never going to be on 205 Live. Mm. It yeah. fits the beal. The build, build, fits the build, <laughs> fits the bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it makes sense. Uh, you know what I, re I really liked is that, well, we haven't seen Ray in what a couple weeks, I think. Yeah, they've just completely split him and Andrade apart. We'll probably and they'll probably end up having a match in yeah, Mania. Absolutely. Um, uh, maybe. I, I just there's so many potential matches. Apparently, that, right, as of right now, there is no WrestleMania card. No, there's nothing definitive. <clears throat> the only thing there's the two Royal Rumbles. Yeah, um, we're speculating Miz versus Shane. Yeah. Um, revival. Who the hell knows? It could. If be, anything, it's gonna be on the free show. Yeah. It'll be a battle um, royal for the Royal Belts, like I said. <laughs> yeah, the Usos might face. They might have like a like a multi man a fatal four way yeah. or whatever. Um, Finn most likely will face Lashley, I guess. I don't like that idea, no. but it's probably what's going to happen. Another two months yeah. almost. Shinsuke is going to be on the pre-show facing... Shinsuke's not the champion. He's not? Our truth, Our is. truth <laughs> is! That's right! Okay. Hasn't been on SmackDown yeah. in a couple weeks. Not since he uh, won the match. Yeah. It's funny. He got hurt, and then he won two matches, and then he's gone. Yep, yep. I completely forgot yeah. that so he So speaking of champions that have not been on the show lately, we actually got to see Asuka this week. Yeah. Um, she was interviewed by Kayla in the middle of the ring. You know, uh -huh. we haven't seen her in a couple weeks. Let's throw her in an interview, you know, give her what she's We're, always so good at. Yeah. Her, one of her strong points, yep. um, which actually it wasn't terrible. They, uh, she She's not that bad. She, no, no, no. no, she's, no. She, I mean, the idiots she's, were wetting her as she's usual. She's better at, con at um, portraying her character than Shinsuke is. Yeah. Because she can, like... Because while he'll try to enunciate and make himself sound clear, mm -hmm. she'll just go off oh, the yeah, rails. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she'll just start screaming in Japanese and stuff. 
It's fine. So. But yeah, no, no, she basically wants to know who's ready for Oscar. Out comes Mandy. Mm-hmm. Um, so they have a match. Corey Graves had a seizure. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, yeah, and then um, you heard of everything with him and Carmella, right? Allegedly. Uh, no, well, apparently they're dating now, but apparently him and his wife had posted all this stuff. Yeah, that, I guess that she I thought know. that he was cheating or that he had cheated on her with Carmella. Apparently him and his wife have been separated for months now. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, that, that came, news came out after, obviously, the original uh, okay, post so came she, out. Okay, so he did nothing wrong, basically. Well, you know, we don't know that for sure, but... Well, but yeah, no, no. It as, like, as of all the information that's out right now, he did nothing. Yeah, wrong. it didn't seem. It doesn't okay. seem that way. Although I can't really say I'm surprised that they're separated. Can you? Do you like? You see how he talks about some of these women? It's worse than uh, than uh, the king. All right, he's playing a character. I know it's the king. That is the character. Yeah. He is Jerry yeah. Lawler. There's no, a it's, difference. It's it's funny because I because. He started doing that with EC3, too, last week, mm. so I was going to add him to the list of people he's in love with. Yeah. All right, so midway through the match, uh-huh. Lacey Evans comes out. What are they doing with her? Uh, she is the interrupter. So there was She a- came out of Elimination Chamber <laughs> oh, yeah, she for did. no reason. Yeah. She came out on Raw for no reason. Mm-hmm. Came out on SmackDown, apparently, for no reason. There was a rumor going on around that once Ronda leaves, that she's going to be in the spotlight with Becky and Charlotte as the top wrestlers. No way. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just saying what was posted. Well, I guess with Sasha and Bailey no, well, not being around, yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of makes sense. They need somebody. But, I mean, what are you doing with? It? Like, she did put on a good show at, at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, she wasn't bad. I thought her match with Natalia, I think that I think it was on main event. Was I was like gonna little, say I don't was, I remember seeing sloppy, that. But um obviously, you know, it's only a, the debut I think it was there, so obviously mm-hmm. there's stuff to build on. She's doing better than Lars is. Who? Exactly. Yeah. And I'm you know, I, whatever he's dealing with is his own yeah. issue, but I'm I think there was really no no good that was gonna come from it. This no. was Braun two point mm-hmm. and worse yeah sure because i don't think he would have been you know gotten the crowd as... well you got braun who's great and you got this new guy who's like you said pretty much the same yeah. thing but who's smaller. <laughs> that and he really doesn't have the same i guess lovable character yeah. i guess yeah well i mean and you know this is a thing i think i brought up maybe last week is that you really don't have many larger than life stars and braun fil- fits that oh, yeah. mold but mm-hmm. That's not it. doing anything with yeah. them. Oh, yeah, they're ruining him. They're doing a great like, job. Like, it was literally handed to them. Uh-huh. Like, at him with Elias, they had some classic stuff. Him with Owens, and then, what's he doing? Getting triple teamed by McIntyre, mm-hmm. Bobby what? Lashley, and Baron Corbin. Yep. The new, uh, what was that group that Heath Slater, Jinder, and... Oh, the, the three-man band? I was thinking the same go. thing. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that was that. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, so Mandy fakes an eye injury. Ref, you know, tells Oscar to move away. Then uh, Mandy drops Oscar neck first onto the rope, and then rolls her up. And that was that. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe Mandy actually pinned Oscar clean. So we had Oscar make Becky tap out at the Royal Rumble. Uh huh. And she loses clean to Mandy, basically. Yeah. Fifty-fifty booking. I don't even know if you can go with that. Well, Mandy lost. She got pinned at uh I thought Sonya got pinned. Oh, maybe. Anyway, it doesn't she gets matter. pinned plenty. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So it's not like she's gonna come up on top at all. No, no, that's not the point. But what do you I mean, think they're gonna do Mandy why... versus Asuka at Fastlane? Yeah, there's definitely what they're gonna do. Okay, but that's fine. Why wouldn't you just have had Sonya and get involved? Yeah. And it just would do make a sense. triple threat between the three of them because the two of them still can't work together and one of them has to win, you know? It's true. I mean they still could technically do that, but that always adds a little yeah, it's bit. It's better of, than having it Oscar versus the Iconics where they both try to win and they can yeah. do it at the same time. <laughs> but that's part of the Iconics charm. <laughs> I know. Oh, no, it'd be funny. But um, we had Ricochet versus Eric Young, mm-hmm. who has not been on SmackDown since September, I believe, is what I told you. Yeah, that's crazy. There I thought go. he was hurt. I thought, actually, I should say, I thought that he was hurt, so the sanity wasn't on at all. I thought that's what it was. Uh, maybe, but I think maybe that was the Bludgeon Brothers, though. No, I know they were hurt, but I thought just Eric Rowan was hurt. In that no, Luke Harper was hurt, hurt too. too. That's uh, why Harper's not around now. He's mm. still hurt. 
Okay. He's got like a wrist injury or something, Ew. but he should be back soon. Yep. Rick Shea goes over here. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric Young got busted open during the match. How? I don't know exactly. It looked like he had like a, a red spot here, and then all of a sudden he was bleeding from that same spot, so I don't know what the That's deal weird. was. I kind of figured he was going to face the returning uh, Ty Dillinger, and then late last night, early this morning, apparently Ty Dillinger had asked for his release. Mm-hmm. So we don't know where that is going, if it's going to be granted, but he was one of the first people to actually say, you know, before any rumors come out, I'm going to lay it all out and say, I did ask for my release rather than everything yeah, well, that happened with other people. Yeah. So. so I can't, you definitely can't say you blame him because no. the man was super over and they did nothing with him. Mm-hmm. They even gave away his spot. They did. Number 10 in the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. I don't remember who it went to. I don't either. Somebody who wasn't him. Mm-mm. That's all I know. Nope. Yep. So, but yeah, uh, Charlotte had an interview, right? Yeah. One on one, one versus one at Mania. Yep. Uh, Becky's no Becky. not involved. Usual nonsense. Yeah, obviously that's not going to happen. Kind of, you know. Yeah. Typical but thing. Charlotte's like, I'm better than everybody else. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty um, much. And then that uh, six man tag you talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. We talked about already with the faces versus the heels, so, which it, it was great. It like, um, I feel like. Most of the match, the crowd was actually on their feet for. That's weird. Yeah, it was. At least that, that's what I had noticed. Mm-hmm. But uh, Kofi, just an incredible reaction. And got to play the hot hand. And that's what WWE doesn't do enough. Oh, they don't. Just They go like, you guys like this guy? We're going to put over this the new, guy. The New Day sells merch already. Yeah. You're going to sell even more merch with uh-huh. your WWE you put, champion. You can literally release everything they've ever made with Kofi wearing that belt. Boom. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I don't know. They're, they're bad. Um, they s- stupid. Still know our truth. This has been, what, three weeks? Four I think weeks? so. What did they say? Accurate. All right, we don't have any idea what to do with the U.S. title. Our truth here you go. Take it on vacation. You could have just posted videos of him in other p- places with the belt. You could have at least done something. That would have been cool. I, I like that idea. <laughs> just up something. Yeah, it's true. Um, it was funny because Rusev had posted. He's like, uh, it, well, when everything with uh, Kofi Mania or whatever was going on on Twitter, and he was like, no Kofi or whatever. Kofi sucks. You know, something along those lines. And uh-huh. somebody was like, what are you, racist? And I was like, what's <laughs> wrong with you people? That's Get funny. a life. That's Get funny. a life. But yeah, no. Kofi should get the title at some point you should no reason not nope to not at all pull the trigger mm-hmm. once just once wwe that's all we're asking for mm-hmm. stop going with the safe bets they're um, not even safe bets usually it's the flat out wrong decision i guess that's true yeah but whatever yeah it is what it is do you have anything else to add i don't think so well there pretty, we go pretty thoroughly covered oh uh paul Heyman. I guess voiced over Brock Lesnar highlights from his career. Yep. That that's one of those things you were talking about where you can, can just, just stop, stop watching. watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So. But yeah, no, that's that's okay. That's how I've learned to live with stuff that I like half the time and don't like half the time. And it makes it so that you can do stuff while you're watching wrestling. There you go. So that <laughs> five hours that it takes up during the week, you don't necessarily have to waste all five hours. Exactly. All right. And that is where we are going to end. So this was episode 32. Yes, sir. Of our podcast. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.